gone in for loving support for these ladies who have done an absolutely phenomenal job. And I will leave you now with our host, Kevin. The moment of truth has come. We're presenting to you tonight a fashion show to uh, top all fashion shows and a fashion show with a difference. We're here courtesy of Luck Luck Productions who have uh, received government funding, no less, to be able to, to put on uh, television for the over 50s by the over 50s. And uh, the, the heart of this is the On The Day show which uh, this fashion show is forming part of. And we're so glad that you could be here tonight. And uh, the ladies, I have to tell you, know uh, no bounds to their excitement. Part of the, the reason for this project is to encourage um, those who of a certain age and over a certain age, over 50s, um, to realize that there are issues that they may have to contend with, particularly issues of self-confidence, and uh, there are very many models and examples of how that can be overcome. And you're going to witness some of those this evening as uh, we uh, introduce our ladies and one gentleman, in fact, who are going to strut their stuff on the catwalk. Uh, they've been uh, searching through their wardrobes for the highlights, and they're going to be presenting those to you this evening. They're going to be coming one at a time and uh, uh, catwalking their way uh, through the room. And they will be having a, a little word now and again with one or two of them to... Uh, uh, just understand about their, their dress and, and, and how they feel about it. Well, this was something that was really popular, uh, patchwork in the 60s and 70s. And this is sort of, it was the hippie wear that we used to wear at that particular time. You're um, owning up to the 60s. Oh, yes, I'm owning up. I grew up in the 60s. <laughs> Somebody told me that if you can remember the 60s, that uh, you were never there, actually. Probably not. Not all the time, no. <laughs> but there we are. Well, that's lovely. Thank you very much. And why have you joined in this evening? For the pure fun of it. And to be with lovely other ladies and just go for it. The girls just want to have fun. Thank you. and his wife are taking me on a cruise they're paying for everything and uh, this is going to be one of my dresses for the formal night or the celebration night on the cruise how wonderful did they pay for the dress as well no they didn't pay for the dress but i got it uh, in in when em and coba shutting down so. <laughs> A lovely a flowing a purple dress with a, a leaf pattern on it and uh, with, uh, of course, uh, bare sleeves to, to show off her, her beautiful uh, figure and arms. Jackie. It's an evening gown and I wore it for a wedding. Um, just, just tell us yeah. what, why you're here this evening. Um, well, it's for help my daughter and my husband, who's the cameraman. Um, who I dearly love, uh, what pushed me into this. I didn't really want to do it, but I have. But you're not just roped in, you're a fine example of somebody who wants to, to show some confidence in slightly older yes, years. Yes, slightly older, yes. yes. Um, I think I'm about the oldest one here. Are you? Well, yes. you carry the dress really well. Let's say thank you very much to Jackie. Well done. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bill Cunningham says fashion is the armour to survive the reality of everyday life. I suppose dressing up does give you uh, that little bit of sparkle and that little bit of self-confidence, which of course is what we're seeing this evening. Very spectacular. Well, I, I know I can say that it's a very sparkly dress, and if this is gonna be on a cruise, I can see it uh, captivating uh, many an eye. So beautiful, it's, uh, see, it's lovely another. accessories, of course. Handbag with a heart on it. Beautiful. Um, Vivian Westwood, the late Vivian Westwood, of course, fashion icon uh, behind so many uh, sort of uh, fashions over the particularly last century, said, if you love something, wear it all the time. Find things that suit you. That's how you look extraordinary. Well, I'm, I'm sure you don't wear this all the time. Oh, I've never worn this before. Never worn it before? <laughs> no, it's for the cruise. It's for the cruise. So this is our first outing. So we're very privileged. So go on, what makes it sparkle? 
don't know. Just, this is really pretty. It's just in case I get on the captain's table, you know. Oh, um, listen, dressed like this, I'm sure there will be absolutely no problem with that. Captain. There we are, Tracy. Lovely. Look at this. A lovely black flowing trouser suit. I'm going to let Tracy in a moment uh, describe it better for us with uh, lovely angel uh, earrings and uh, a lovely tilted hat with bow on the back to match. And of course, the accessories with these sort of golden silvery shoes. Very important. Are you going to have a word with me, Tracy? Hats new, yes. Um, and that's another of my passions. I like nice clothes, uh, but I don't like to spend a lot of money. So this was um, three pounds from our local charity shop. <laughs> but it really sets the suit off really well. We'd have to be honest, haven't we? We've visited a couple of charity shops yes. uh, in the last few days. Um, I have to confess, the suit I'm wearing costs six pounds. Isn't that a wonderful bargain? <laughs> uh, and the shoes today for ten pounds. You know, Tracy gets to spend all the money. I get what's left over so I can buy mine. <laughs> Tracy in her navy blue outfit. All right, get the colour right. And lovely sparkling trim to go with it. Ladies and gentlemen, Tracy, thank you. <laughs> Sarah, as you can see, is not wearing red which can only suggest there was no doubt in her mind about what she was going to wear. A beautiful full-length dress here um, with uh, geometrical patterns on it and, uh, and matching uh, a black necklace to, uh, to suit, bracelets too, and uh, lovely flat shoes to go with it. Sarah, I've done a dreadful job describing <laughs> that, but say what you see, somebody once said, didn't they? So tell me why you, you're dressed in this beautiful dress this evening. Well, I can tell you why I'm not wearing red, because when I was little, my mom said, blondes shouldn't wear red, it makes them look cheap. So I've never worn red. How important are, are nice clothes to you? Um, reasonably, reasonably. I'm not super into fashion, but I like to look nice, mm. and that's it. And there's a few things that I know I wear, and I wear those all the time. <laughs> we certainly look more than nice uh, tonight, doesn't she? <laughs> now look at this, getting ready for the Open. Paul is dressed in what I can only describe as golf gear, with matching hat. And what's that, a four iron or something, perhaps? Yes. Is it? Yes. Look at this. Don't hit the flowers. Oh, that, that's fantastic. Paul, are, are you a golfer then? Yes. What makes you do that? Meeting people. Meeting people, enjoying meeting people. Yes, from all walks of life. It's really good and really entertaining. And uh, somebody once said, clothes maketh the man. What do you feel about that? Yes, definitely they do. They do. The better the clothes, you feel better. The, uh, the putting green on the golf course, put on our catwalk this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, Paul. Thank you very much. Uh, Coco Chanel, again a, a, a byword in terms of fashion, said the best things in life are free. The second best are very expensive. Black and white print uh, uh, dress and uh, matching uh, black sandals to, uh, to boot. <laughs> this is a charity shop dress, four pound. Brilliant. And the jacket that my friend gave me a few years ago and I've never had it on until tonight. We are being very favoured this evening, aren't we, with the clothes that you're choosing. And it's lovely to have a fellow uh, charity shop uh, visitor and with us this evening. I don't like a round neck, right. so I've got the dress backside for me. I've got it turned around and the, the back I've tucked in to make a V. Are you saying it's on back to front? Yes. Oh, right. About the catwalk, which is also in red. <laughs> Nicely tuned in, the music stepping up a little bit. Oh, let's have, a, let's have another twirl. That is lovely. Ladies and gentlemen, Margie, thank you. Once so again, we have Jackie. Let's welcome Jackie to the catwalk. Hello. Now, this is a lovely, cool, summery outfit. Uh, a beautiful um, half sleeve length uh, white jacket. Miss, how do you describe this at the front when it goes like that? The, the dress? Uh, cowl neck. Cowl neck, okay, that's right. Right, that is super. And and you look very stylish. Where does this rank in your outfits? This, this was made for a 
christening that never happened because of pandemic and then we couldn't have it so we had to postpone it. So you've waited all this? It's just, it's just taking the tag off just before I came in. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm impressed that uh, some of you ladies are wearing clothes for the first time or just getting them off the hook this evening. Well that's, that's beautiful. Is it one that you will wear again soon? Well, maybe soon, yeah. But I'm not a one for wearing dresses, but I did it for this. You did? Yes. Well, thank you very much. Uh, Have one more walk, go on for us. Um, beautiful sort of, um, oh, there we go, it's coming off. Beautiful uh, purple jacket, uh, black gloves to match the black fascinator, and uh, lovely, again, a flowing light colour dress with fantastic boots. What I'm wearing today um, is from the Salvation Army. So the boots were £10, the jacket was 20 it was quite expensive, but it still had the label in it. The hat was £1.50, the gloves were 50p. The skirt was three pounds and the top was two pounds. So I, I can't add that up, but that's all under 20, certainly, isn't it? It cost you as much as the high street, darling. Not only for her fashion sense, but also for uh, her, her thrift and a wise use of funds. Let's give Tracy another round of applause. Thank you. Thank you, Tracy. Oh, now, you're going to tell me this is something else brand new for the cruise? It is, yes. I was lucky. I, I went to m Co when they went into administration and I got three dresses. The first one I wore, the sparkly one I wore, and this one, they were £179 of dresses and I got them for £27. Uh, have you got a favourite yet or are we yet to see it? Oh, my first one, the one with the stars and the moons on, that's my favourite right. dress. Okay. Yeah. How many, how many have you brought with you this evening? Ten. It's Leslie. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Leslie once again. Now a change of style here for Leslie, a, uh, a, a one-piece dress. In fact, dresses are one-piece, aren't they? So that's the only way they come. Beautiful blue, light blue and, uh, and sort of a, a darker blue there and looks very, very comfortable and very stylish. Uh, I used to actually run a dress agency years ago um, and I just think it's important to try and recycle things. So most of the things I buy are second hand as well, but sometimes I treat myself. If I fall in love with something, and this I love, and it's easy to wear, and it's got pockets. And I wasn't allowed to put my hands in my pockets when I was little, because it wasn't a lady. <laughs> you can now, make the most of it. If you're not comfortable in it, you're going to look rubbish. When you were a teenager, were you, were you fashion conscious? Yes. Being the age I am now, I still look in shops at clothes for 20-year-olds um, and then try them on and think, what are you thinking? <laughs> you're not 20 anymore and you've just got to adjust a little bit. So here we have cruise lady Margie once again joining us with uh, no doubt another dress is going to <laughs> make it to the cruise, especially with those shades. Looking very elegant in uh, this, uh, this beautiful uh, peach or orange number that uh, looks extremely well uh, uh, set for uh, letting a lot of ventilation through and on a hot summer's day. Um, whether you're on a cruise or not, it looks absolutely smashing with lovely handbag accessory. Thank you very much, Margie. And it's Jackie joining us once again. They are beautifully uh, black and white. Uh, a lovely white jacket again at the top with uh, a black and white uh, with, uh, with oval patterned underneath, high heels, of course. Now Trace is wearing a, a lovely uh, flowing, uh, po is it poppies? They look like poppies. And uh, of course, accentuated by the red flower in the hair. Again, shades for summer, matching necklace accessories as well. Looking very cool and very elegant. Fashions fade, said Yves Saint Laurent. A 
are very enthusiastic. Welcome for Margie. It certainly wins the prize. It's the fastest change in the world. Margie's wearing a very smart leather top here, and uh, look at that for an elegant dress. Very sparkly again. I'm sure that's going to get her on the captain's table, uh, and I'm sure she'll have the opportunity to wear all these outfits again, but looking extremely smart tonight. Wonderful. Thank you very much, Margie. It's a fashion should be a form of escapism, and not a form of imprisonment. Well, I think Leslie's letting her inner self free this evening. Her 60s self free, but uh, maybe so. Uh, uh, looking absolutely wonderful in this, uh, in this trouser suit, which has a beautiful, wonderful pattern to it, set off by a lovely gold belt. And of course, looking even better with the dance moves. Leslie's obviously looking very good on the dance floor. Leslie Beautiful, thank you very much indeed. Good. <laughs> well, I think you could have guessed that, couldn't you? surprise now we have Paul back wonderful that's a surprise to me Paul looking very uh, elegant in uh, in his casual wear this is when he's not on the golf course of course uh, Paul is wearing a, a brown sort of visit polo top and uh, jeans and uh, superb white trainers um, what every man should wear on a hot summer's day Paul thank you very much my word and here is Sarah style is something each of us already has. All we need to do is find it, said Diane von Furstenberg. And certainly that's the case for Sarah. I think she's found her style and her muscles. Look at that extremely impressive gym wear. Well, that's it. Okay. Gym wear. And uh, not had the chance to ask this evening, but perhaps she is a frequenter of the gym, as you can tell. There we go. Sarah, thank you very much indeed. Looking stunning. beautifully and of course the uh, the the way it's set with the uh, the casual denim makes it a very impressive combination whether margie will wear this on the cruise we'll have to guess definitely not the and we have jackie now then wearing a fully white trouser suit here with a lovely thin pinstripe uh, over a beautiful blue uh, top looking extremely elegant extremely cool and i think something that really suits her Style is the only thing you can't buy. It's not in a shopping bag, a label, or a price tag. It's something reflected from our soul to the outside world. An emotion, said Albert Elbaz. Style, the only thing you can't buy. And these ladies this evening are certainly carrying off their walk along the catwalk with a tremendous amount of style. Leslie. Oh, now here's Leslie. Again, going down the casual route. Lovely dungaree look multicolored uh, horizontal striped t-shirt underneath looking ex oh says lucky on the, the oh certainly we're lucky tonight to have leslie with us and looking so uh, superbly trendy and uh, and beautifully casual wonderfully and look at the shoes as well with the stars and stripes on them look at yes make sure the camera picks up those uh, those shoes fantastic for the land of the free and anik Wonderful. Leslie, thank you very much indeed. Well, the hardest thing in fashion is not to be known for a logo, but to be known for a silhouette. Said Giambattista Valli, and we have here a beautiful silhouette 
as uh, Margie poses for us. A lovely, again, a lovely flowing uh, blue number, navy blue number, uh, with uh, beautifully uh, uh, contrasting but complementing at the same time, uh, blue uh, scarf at the top. Beautiful. And we have Tracy. Look at this. Now Tracy's gone down the denim route as well. No tears in this one, but if you'll notice underneath, there's this lovely red underskirt, um, which gives that sense of flow and set off beautifully by the, uh, the bandana, if that's how we call it, uh, that's around her brow. I know this is one of Tracy's favorite uh, uh, outfits, and uh, she's recently, I think, acquired the accessory of the handbag to match. I seem to recognize that from earlier today. Again, it's, uh, it's, it's the combination of what you wear, and it's sometimes not what you wear, but how you wear it. And Tracy tonight has certainly been demonstrating that sense of style. And we're very grateful to have had her on the catwalk. Tracy, thank you very much. But before that, we have Sarah. Now, Sarah wouldn't be wearing this in the gym, of course, but a lovely light summary a floral number. Um, beautiful print on it and a matching orange handbag as well and uh, some uh, some trainers to go with it looking very smart and indeed very elegant you can tell it's middle of the summer can't you and uh, certainly the way sarah is dressed tonight makes the summer all the more appealing sarah thank you very much indeed thank you and margie once again appears now look at this this is very different this is a bit game of thrones ish i think when margie turns you will see this uh, wonderful lacing pattern at the back. A very different kind of dress, with the zip, of course, at the front as well, in this uh, maroony velvet uh, number, which in fact looks extremely stunning. I'm not sure whether that would be worn on the cruise, but I tell you, it will certainly catch a few eyes. What a wonderful set of clothes you brought out for us this evening, Margie. And uh, I'm sure you can see personality coming out and being shone through the clothes that are being worn. Here is Jackie again, here with a, a three-quarter. In, uh, in a lovely shade of blue, with uh, black leggings to match, and uh, some boots with a little bit of heel on them. Look at that style. Never let it be said that uh, women of, uh, of a, a slightly senior age don't know how to dress. Tonight proves the theory once and for all that uh, the ladies who know how to wear their clothes know how to look good and uh, does their confidence a world of good. Here we have all of the ladies being led out by Lorraine this evening. We have Sarah and we have Margie and we have Paul and we have Jackie and we have Tracy. And who else to come? And Leslie. <laughs> A full set, how fantastic. Well, let's give them a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, because they've done such a, a wonderful job this morning. They've looked so elegant and uh, so wonderful, and we've been delighted that you've been able to watch what they've wear.